Hi guys, welcome to the Arklings B Hyperland with all its nice little effects, right? Control Q, Super Q, it's quite fast and responsive. Super Q, Super Q, Super Q, Super Q. Topic of the video is maybe a quick look at Hyperland. Where do I find information, right? Just make that a video, but never hurts to try again or say again. Hyperland.org and the github.com, that's where you need to go and learn about Hyperland. Except maybe also other clicks, right? But all the things that are not answered are there. What you need to know is if you go to, and that's of course, yeah, the knowledge you need to get is how does this thing work with a configuration, with an application? The configuration is in here and it's actually not called Hyperland, but Hyper. The idea is immediately, guys, put it in some kind of editor, your editor of choice. In my case, Sublime Text is up there and it's already blue, so enter. And then, I've done it already prior to this video, I'll just go and grab the dot config hyper and put it in here. So I've actually everything in here. And that's one of the advantages of Hyperland when I was developing it. Everything is in there, right? It's one folder, not a folder here, a file there, a folder again, there and so on. No, no. So that's interesting to know. That is put it in a editor and then start reading yes start reading what i need to do let's kill this one first and maybe you need to do it as well is think about what keyboard am i on most of our users have the qwerty keyboard right but there are some variants of qwerty and there's some variants of azerty this is the belgium azerty so if you need a french azerty it it will be a little bit different so that's something you need to figure out first because otherwise it's frustrating your keyboards are not working the way they're supposed to work so if you open one of them then you see there's somewhere control find right keyboard or well, key but find previous oh my god right not the right word to search then you just start reading start reading it's key bay key b care from keyboard layout so at the top I'm telling him, forget about US, right? Forget about US. Use the Belgian keyboard. And you can add some variants, model, options, rules. So here you go to the Arch Wiki and find out, okay, what is this thing? What do I need? It's all explained on the Arch Wiki. Then, because this one is not used, that one is not used, the only one is used is this one. That's the one you need to read. So not this one, this one is the one you need to read but uh, set the keyboards straight. There are some small things in here and there's some very important things in here and it's all key bindings and we have also this little script change wallpaper so BG is background and there are some nice wallpapers in here that you might want to have but in the end we've decided let's take variety right all variety works as well well let's let's rephrase that our variety with our scripts and changes ah works on hyperland so there you go we have uh, the possibility to let this machine do the work for us eh? so you have to kill everything a little, there are also little nuisances like that that it's hidden behind the screen that doesn't matter wallpaper selector i've done nothing to get all these wallpapers in right so i just decide to choose one of them and voila, it's set. With an Alt N, I have a next one, and Alt P, the previous one. So all the key bindings that we use in the other 30 plus desktops, ooh, that's nice. Well, they work. Okay. This is Super Shift D, and this is Super D. But smaller, that's all it is. Sublime text, we're back. So <coughs> we can also, um, well, go over every single one of them, which is kind of stupid, I would say. Well, not stupid, but time consuming for sure. So let's take a general look. And the Hyperland configuration is here. 
This is the Wolfie full, meaning we can style it. We can check out the configuration. We can change some things like the columns. I believe I've made the columns bigger. So super uh, F is it? No, super F is full screen. Super shifty. Yeah, super shifty is a full one and super D is a small one. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, okay. Three, okay, save. Super shift D. One, two, three. Maybe you like that one as well, but you have to scroll a little bit to see all of them, which is okay, right? Choose. Depends on your resolution. Super shift D, right? All in one look, one one view, see them all. And this is after running the Articlinx Nemesis script, right? Like everything I need is in here. I think, let's see. Yep, GIMP is here, Inkscape, yep. So it's running after running the Nemesis script. So in here are so many little things like the width and the height and so on, all things to change, but this is the menu. So super, D, small thing, and that's this one. And the full is a big thing. That's all it is, some colors. And if you've done some website designing, then you recognize these, well, uh, configurations or the way they write it the way bar is up here so the style okay the way bar is at the bottom how is it looking what do we do some coloring background is nothing all transparent opacity and so on and so on all kinds of things we can change modules as well i've got i got rid of modules that are not present or not uh, i would just say that will cause some issues if you install it on thousand desktops or laptops, right? That will cause issues. So the things that never cause issues are visible at this point in time. Like for instance, um, on a desktop, you don't have battery, right? But it's in here, I, I think, yeah, it is battery. So you can add more things to it if you want to. This is, think if you're already acquainted with Polybar, think about this as a kind of Polybar. Here we define the modules. And here we say which modules you want to use, where it's going to be, right? Layer, top, top, and so on. Bottom is a position, spacing, and so on. And here we say to the left, we get this, then the CPU, then the memory, then the disk, custom updater, that's this little thing, pulse audio, and so on, and so on. So all these things are defined here. That's, those are the modules, and all the modules are here. And I suppose in the future, we'll get more modules. And in the beginning we had this, um, was it Chinese, Japanese? I don't recall anymore, Chinese, I think, because this CN here. So one, two, three in Chinese, but people got a little bit, what's this, right? So we went back to one and two and three, but it gives us a little bit of, uh, well, rising. So battery, what's all else? Clock, CPU, custom menu, custom power is there, memory is there, network is there, weather is there. Weather always crashes over time. My, that's my um, well, uh, yeah, experience, that's the word. It's my experience over five years. So at some point in time, yay, it works, all right? And then the, these websites block everything again and then we have to look somewhere else for information and, and then it works again and then doesn't work again. <laughs> So I'm just saying whatever, right? You just type weather. If you tell Antwerp, he knows what to do. And that will work always. Voila. Cycle wall, all kind of things if you want to add more things to it. And here's the key binding. So if you're thinking, oh my God, what's all this? This is a little cheat sheet that I started making on the Wayland things. So it's basically more or less the same everywhere because we want, we do not want to have different key bindings on all these 30 plus desktops. They're all the same everywhere. But if this is the first time you're visiting Atlinks, right, then you know Super Returner will launch a terminal and Super Q will quit things and Super Shift Q as well and so on, right? These are the menus, Shift D and the Super Shift D, Super being Windows key. If I want to kill this thing, it's a little bit strange, but are you sure you want to close this OS window? It's a terminal, so it wants to, we have to tell them to close it. There's some scripts, 
or brightness, change layout, change wallpaper, all kinds of things, color picker, full menu. Some of them we still use, other ones we've uh, dropped or they're in there, but we don't use them. So it's a kind of a, a list of things that are used or not used, like the weather SH, here it is, right? Here's how it gets to, how you find out what weather it is, if it's a rain, that you rain possible and so on. And here the Wolfie beats, which is a bit and, and fun stuff. It's music, <laughs> it plays music. So you can have one, one of these well, nine uh, radio stations and play it inside a terminal. We had something similar. I'm thinking about the name, but okay. Uh, there are other applications to have that kind of music and all that. Mako, and we have here all the elements for Mako and the icons for Mako. So sometimes you'll find something that you say, what's that, right? And then you need to figure it out and say, okay, let's go for Panic. And then say Mako, Mako, and then you see, okay, Mako, lightweight notification daemon. All oh, right, so that's a notification daemon, fine. So that's what it is. And maybe you can go to the Mako project and see the dependencies or the files. That's okay, there's the application. And sometimes there's a configuration somewhere and you can learn like that as well. But I suppose you would probably go here as well and have a look what they say. Okay, super Q, super shift Q. This one as well, let's take super shift Q here. Voila. And then the last one thing is the background. So the, the actually the um, wallpapers, which is of course nothing important at all. That's probably it as an overview, right? As an overview that um, is um, where I would stop. So the Hyperland folder is important. And one other thing, it's the application, right? Pseudo Pacman minus s the application that we're using is our own build and that's not hyperland it's hyperland dev so the development version well we call it dev it's our version and it's of course the same as the one on hip on, on aor and if it's not you tell us because then there was an update and we have not seen that yet right so hyperland here is a number on the aor number seven two no zero nineteen two beta one and we should have the same number but then with something different right we just changed a little bit so that it works on Arclex. that's it for me application configuration read 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 and again guys there is a great wiki for hyperland I've read it all, simple as that. The best thing to do is just keep, keep clicking and keep reading. And what you're looking for, you'll find it. It's on, probably, right, on the wiki somewhere. All right, cheers.